Okay, this video is going to be on applying Lichtenberg figures to the foreend of an over and under shotgun rather than checkering. Uh, some of the equipment I will show you, I will not be showing the unit that I use to do this electrically. There are plenty of videos online, you can go and see that for yourself. No one makes a commercial unit to do this. Everything is a do-it-yourself and at your own risk. There are high voltages involved and just because you see someone else do it and get by with it does not necessarily mean that you will be able to reproduce the, either the results or the uh, safety of that application. So some of the specific things though that I do want you to see is uh, this is my solution that I'll be using uh, to soak the, this, in this case, walnut. Uh, I have a small fine tip brush that I'll use to apply it. I have some pads that I've made from simple so paper towels that are just soaked in that solution. And I'll be explaining why I use those in various sizes. I have pretty small electrodes compared to what a lot of people use just simply because they're easier to manipulate on small items like this and, and to control. So with that, we will begin our process. First thing I'll do is since I'm not doing the entire area of this forehand, I have lightly penciled in some of the areas that I want to do and I'm going to try to, to keep the solution confined somewhat to those areas just so I don't get a lot of spillover. There will be, uh, there's no way to avoid it. Uh, without masking it off and that brings its own problems but I will soak this once then I'll go back and I will be reapplying as needed and the first thing this the first technique I'm going to be using is I want to make this pattern more or less grow from the center, this diamond shaped area here, out and branch out to the edges of the pattern in a uh, tree-like or a bush-like pattern. And so to do that, rather than make it grow from two specific points as if I applied them like this, they would grow from a specific points. What I'll use is I'll use these pads which are soaked in solution and one of the electrodes will go onto that pad and that will tend to keep the patterns from the specific electrode spreading out more towards the more generalized pad that's soaked in the material. And I have one for, in this case, I have one for this side that I'm gonna be working on first. And I have one for the tip. And so I'm gonna be starting controlling the moisture level is pretty key and getting results that you want. So, I'm doing all this with the power to the unit itself off, and then I will turn the power on and bring the voltage up. You can see how it's specifically starting at the one electrode but not the other one. I want a real fine pattern since I'm essentially going to be using this 
in place of checkering on the forend. as it starts to approach that edge on either side I'll have to stop and move the electrode to sort of try to steer this as best I can okay so I'm going to power off I'm going to reapply some solution in some areas where I want to propagate that pattern more. Make sure this is wet down plenty. I mean contact with the wood. And so now I'm going to move, since I've got a pattern started here, I'm going to move that electrode there up a little bit and make sure it's making good contact and see if I can get a little bit more growth towards the end then I'll work on coming out to the sides okay power's coming off We're about 10 percent there's 50 they are maxed out at 100 I may have to apply more solution back in these burns back towards the rear We'll just have to watch how this, these tips are burning. Now this back at the back is growing deeper and deeper even though you don't see sparks. It's growing over the other side a little bit more than it is this side. So I'm going to turn the power off and I'm going to reapply some solution in the burned part kind of concentrate the movement over the direction I'd like. Power coming back up and on. Now we're back up to about a hundred percent. Now you can see this this pattern over here now where I wet that down is is growing more rapidly than the opposite side where it was taking off on us. Now we're getting some span out. That's about how I want it to be doing, so I'm just going to let it run for a little bit. And I'm going to have to apply some more solution get a little more spread on that can't get too much or it won't go at all okay power coming back on up about 10 there's 50%. It's a little wet, so it may take a little while for it to burn off enough that it actually starts burning in the material. Okay, there's 100% power. You can see it's deepening the main crevices. Not quite working, it's not dried out enough to get to the tips yet. And the carbon that it forms by burning is what's, tra what's transmitting the electricity once you get a dried area. Okay, it's growing out now like I want it to down at this end a little bit. We'll let it go a little longer. I don't want to get this back here too deep. I'll have to move forward and try to propagate one of the branches out to the side like I'd like. Okay, I'm going to power down. I can't really see that other side as well as I'd like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start trying to propagate this branch here more. Okay. Power back on. 
one, 20, 50, there's a hundred percent. So now see I'm getting that main shaft all the way up to the tip of where I'd like that pattern to end. This one here is kind of taken off on its own, which is a good thing, but not quite what I'm after just right now. And I'm going to come up here. The power is off, by the way. And I'm going to try to get a trace started along that line. I'll move this over on the pad and over to this side. And power back up. Get that a little hard. Okay, it's under the pad. I can't see where it's at, so I'm going to stop. Power off. Pull the pad off. And that's about as far as my trace I want that to go. But I would like it to come over here a little bit. So I'm going to try to fill this branch in just a bit more. Apply some solution there. Now I'm going to try to get this pad over here to be a contact. In fact, I'm going to have to take this off because that is all the way to the edge of where I want. I'm going to use this smaller pad here to fill in this detail I want more of right in this area here. I don't know if I can make it propagate one of those very, very small ones out or not. We'll give it a try. There is, this is not a science by any means. It uh, has a tendency to follow the grain of the woods sometimes and then sometimes it'll cut directly away and go Totally unexpected direction. I like to throw it back on. Okay, power back up. 25. Yeah, got a little bit more detail out of it. Let's see if we can get that to branch by not turning the power all the way up. Yeah, now we'll see we're getting some nice detail there. Okay, that's running under the pad. I can't see where it's going. I have to stop, power off, and take a look. That's pretty nice. I like that. Now we'll go over here and, and we'll work on getting this pattern to come down. I like that small pad better than that big long one. So I'm going to lay that pad just above the line I want that to take and I'll apply some solution in that area there. We'll see if we can't get those to this may be difficult to make that electrode do what I want. We'll see. Power on. 25% it is bringing that one over like I wanted. That's nice. Getting a really nice burn. Coming down almost to the edge of the pattern. And that's the edge of the pattern, so we'll stop. Now, I would really like to get some fill in that area there. So I'll move this. Get that wet. Power back up. There's 25%. Okay, off. That's pretty much it for the front quarter of the fore end. 
There's a little bit of fill detail that I do it do later in later sections, and you can see those videos coming up as we get them edited and posted up. We'll see you soon.